Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's calculate the electric field inside and outside the spherical charge conductor. We understand that when we have a conductor that's spherical and it has extra charge on it, the charge will reside on the surface. And so let's first start by trying to figure out what the electric field would be at a distance of 10 centimeters from the center of that sphere when the radius of the sphere, which I use the letter A to indicate the radius of the sphere, is equal to 20 centimeters. In other words, we're trying to find the electric field inside the conductor. So we're going to draw a Gaussian surface like this. The radius of the Gaussian surface is going to be there for 10 centimeters, so the radius of the Gaussian surface is equal to 10 centimeters. Now let's go ahead and use Gauss's law, which in its simple form is the electric field times the Gaussian surface area is equal to the charge that's inside the surface divided by epsilon sub naught, or the electric field is equal to the charge inside the Gaussian surface divided by the area of the Gaussian surface times the permittivity of free space, and we can then write the equation as Q inside divided by 4 pi, the Gaussian surface R sub G squared, times epsilon sub naught. So this is the equation we can use to calculate the electric field in this kind of geometry. To do the E inside, so now we're going to use it for E inside, we realize that this is going to be 0 divided by 4 pi r sub g squared times epsilon sub naught. The reason for that is when we take any Gaussian surface, regardless of what the radius is, 10 centimeters, 5 centimeters, 15 centimeters, as long as it'll stay inside that sphere, there'll be no charge inside the Gaussian surface. Q inside is equal to zero, so therefore the electric field inside is equal to zero. That's of course the easy part. Now for the little harder part is now we're trying to find the electric field at a distance of 40 centimeters from the center. So now we draw a Gaussian surface that looks like this. Kind of running out of room here. There we go. We use the very same equation as we did before. So we'll bring that over here. The electric field at 40 centimeters is equal to Q inside divided by, and let's see here. I don't think I noted how much charge I have on the on the uh, sphere, so let's come up with something. So Q on the sphere is going to be equal to, let's say, 20 microcoulombs. All right. So Q inside divided by 4 pi radius of the Gaussian surface squared times epsilon sub naught. Okay, let's write that down then. Uh, let's pr plug in the numbers, I should say. So now, of course, the charge inside is all of the charge residing on the sphere. So E at 40 centimeters is equal to 20 microcoulombs divided by 4 pi times the radius, which is going to be 40 centimeters converted to meters. Always make sure you convert this to meters. And we square that times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. Of course, that would be meters here. I'll put in meters. And this would be coulomb squared per newton meter squared. There we go. And we'll plug in the units. Okay, remember that microcoulombs is 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, so that's 20 e to the 6 minus divided by 4 divided by pi divided by 0.4 squared and divide by 8.85 e to the 12 minus, and that gives us, whoa, I've got to do that one again. Now we have, wow, well, let's see here, 1.12 times 10 to the 6. That's quite a powerful field. So E at a distance of 40 centimeters is going to be equal to 1.12 times 10 to the sixth newtons per coulomb. So a little bit over 1 million newtons per coulomb. Check that again. Yep. And that's a pretty strong field. But again, you're 40 centimeters away from a charge distribution on a spherical uh, conductor. That is quite large, 20 microcoulombs is a fairly large charge. And that's how that's done.